long story short, um, there are hundreds of those. Hundreds. Um, and I also see those of you out there who put on a cake for me. And that really does mean the world to me because, you know, there's nothing anybody can do about this. There's nothing anybody can do to stop this hate. And so I question what my purpose is and even being here in front of you saying that this is happening. I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, but I think the thing that bothers me is that like sort of this feeling that I've had inside of myself, which no one has told me, but this feeling of like, I just got to shut up and take it. You know, I just kind of got to grow and bury it. Um, and I'm not built like that. So <laughs> I really just wanted to come on, I think, and say thank you to the people who show up for me in the comments and the places that I'm not going to put myself. And um, to the rest of y'all, y'all weird. <laughs> <laughs> I truthfully don't even know where to begin. So many actors have been bullied unjustly by the Star Wars community. Hayden Christensen, Jake Lloyd, Ahmed Best, Kelly Marie Tran, and we can add Moses Ingram to the list. When the hell are we going to learn? Seriously, because this is unacceptable. Yeah, you can criticize the characters that these actors play. That's one thing. Talk it out. Talking about what you like and what you don't like about a character, in my view, as an actor and a filmmaker, it's pretty productive. That's the reason we're all here, as a community, to learn from each other. But what I hate most of all is for some people to go out of their way to harass the people who are hired to portray a role, to read those lines on their script. As I said in my first breakdown video on Obi-Wan Kenobi, Reba's character will evolve. Yeah, she may be a little bit impulsive and a little bit annoying, but that's how the character is written. It's clear that she annoys the upper inquisitors and Moses Ingram is acting it out perfectly. We need to remember how Ahsoka Tano started out. Most of the fans really thought that she was bratty, annoying, and so on. But during the Clone Wars, she matured, she evolved, Reva can do the same. It's only been three episodes so far. I'm really interested to know how her character arc is going to end up. I want to know what her vendetta is with Obi-Wan. The character might be annoying, but you also need to keep in mind that these characters are put in to further the plot of Kenobi. The same would go for any other film or TV show, Star Wars or not. As for the messages that these people are sending to her DMs, these immature, foul, racist messages are intolerable. For Christ's sake, this is her first time in the Star Wars franchise, and this is one of the major things she's going to remember. That's not what I want her to remember at all, and I hope she knows that not all of us are like that. There are some people, including myself, who appreciate her character and knows that her character will evolve. If real Star Wars fans like myself don't like a certain character, we won't go out of our way to attack the actor or the actress who plays the character. Did they write their character? No. This bullying is unacceptable and it's wrong and we know it. Ahmed Bess almost took his own life because of the relentless backlash he got for just playing a character. Jake Lloyd was never himself again after all the horrendous bullying he got on his end for playing his role. Wherever he is, I hope he's doing better. And at the end of the day, we're all human beings. Just like the actors who play their roles. They're human beings too. They have feelings, just like us. Even back when I was younger, I was bullied all the time for liking Star Wars. Many of us fans were. It just annoys me so much that some of these so-called fans are harassing someone for their skin color, and the way they were born. You can change your acting, that's one thing, but you cannot change your skin color. I wasn't too happy with Disney for what they have did with John Boyega, how they shrunk him in the posters for China, and he even said his piece more than once, and he was very vocal about it. 
If you want to talk, criticize, or complain about a character, knock yourself out. It's pretty much what I do on the channel because I'm happy to be talking about Star Wars during my free time and I'm happy that most of you enjoy my content. But if you want to say the ugliest things to the person who is only portraying the character, then that's just very low. Because if you're going to stoop that low and do ugly crap like that, go whine and complain to Dr. Phil. Try to do some introspection before you go ahead and attack someone just because they played a role that you think is a whole load of crap. Or because you think that you can do better playing that role. You only live once. Can we at least try to make it a good time? Because tomorrow isn't promised. We're only on this earth for a period of time. And for those who would say that Moses Ingram's acting is horrendous or whatever and think that you can do better, I would really love to see your acting credits if you think you're so much better. The same goes for the people who would whine about bad writing or lazy writing all just because it's something they don't like. I would like to see you write a better script since it's so poorly written. To all of the toxic people sending those horrible racist messages, what do you hope to gain by sending those? As for me, I stand behind Moses Ingram 1000%. I really hope to work with her on a project in the future. I think that you are a wonderful actress. Keep your head up high and don't pay attention to these low life toxic fans. The third sister will evolve. So that's all I had to say everybody. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for future content to come. My social media links are down below and so is my Patreon page. And check out my profile on IMDB. Have a great rest of your day and remember, the Force will always be with you. Especially with Moses Ingram.